It's Friday, February 22nd, and today we're going to talk about our further thought. But before we begin, let us have our 777 prayer. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask for peace, we ask for wisdom, we ask for strength as we study your lesson today. In your name we pray. Amen. The purpose of Revelation 12 is, first of all, to tell God's people that end time events are a part of the great conflict between Christ and Satan. The book warns God's people about what they are facing today and what they're about to face and confront in an even more serious manner in the future. An experienced and furious enemy. Paul warns us at the end time activity of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders and with all unrighteous deceptions among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 through 10. Revelation urges us to take the future seriously and make our dependence on God our priority. On the other side, Revelation assures us that although Satan is a strong and experienced enemy, he is not strong enough to overcome Christ. For God's people, hope can be found only in the one who in the past has victoriously defeated Satan and his demonic forces and he has promised to be with his faithful followers always, even to the end of age. Matthew chapter 28, 20. Well, that concludes our lesson for this week. We want to say thank you for watching and also wanted to invite you to Sabbath school tomorrow. God bless you and have a great one.